Grey Hunter, Murphy Hunter, however you know me by. Um, I just wanted to um, do some book reviews, um, kind of like show and tell really, um, on some books that I got and books that I already have. Um, but real quick, I just wanted to show you this cool little cup that my sister gave me for Christmas. It's metal, and even the straw is metal. And I love metal cups, just like glass cups. You know, they stay, anything you put in there stays very, very cold. And of course, I like the metal cups and the metal straw because as you're drinking the cold water, it just it just stays cold. For me, I don't like warm drinks unless it's supposed to be warm, like hot chocolate or, or hot teas, because I love tea, hot tea. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show this. And yes, it has the Starbucks goddess on there. It didn't have to have that, but it sure does help. <laughs> no, it's just really nice. Um, and so I just wanted to show that. Anyway, and it makes drinking water so much easier. All right, so I went to have price books today with my daughter because, uh, with my two girls, because they had a 20% off, you know, for the holidays and stuff. So if you guys don't have a half price book store uh, where you're from, um, I don't know if it's just like, you know, in Texas or what, but anyway, um, they have used books as well as new books, and they do books, albums, um, tarot cards, journals, everything, and really great prices. And then they'll do this 20% um, you know, off of everything. So I went today and I picked up some stuff. I picked up this um, fairy spell book, um, and I just kind of skimmed through it, but there uh, ain't no spells in here. It's just like stuff like fairy healing, um... Oh, well, here's a section that says fairy spells. Um, it says, like, fairy oil. Oh, yeah, it's got a couple of stuff in here. But, like I said, I just got them today, and I have not looked through them, but I love fairies, and so how was I not going to get this? This was, like, $7.99. And then I picked up this other book, which I'm very excited about. It's Healing Secrets of Native Americans. Um, and of course, like I said, this was $7.99 and you get 20% off. This is a brand new book. And like I said, there are some used books, but this is a brand new book. And, um, this, um, you know, I'm very into my Native American culture. Um, it's not all that I am, but I'm very into, um, that part of me. And, um, so it'll, it'll have different ingredients in here like, um, fennel, uh, peppermint, willow, uh, plantains, um, wild rose, wormwood, um, and then it breaks it down like, for example, if you have asthma, like me, it tells you information and things that you could use for it, and back pain, and golly, this book really is for me, <laughs> um, bad breath and bruises, bad breath, um, toothpaste, anyway, um, but, for example, like, um, you know, like with, uh, let's see here, let's find one. Like fennel. It tells you what fennel is and the uh, physical characteristics of it, where it's found, and methods of use on it. So I don't know if you can see that. And it does that with a lot of, of different ingredients. And I know it's probably like a lot of um, stuff that's in herb books. But, um, because Native Americans were very into, um, healing, um, there were just certain herbs, um, uh, and roots and stuff that Native Americans used. And so, I, I'm really going to enjoy reading this book. Then I picked up another book, um, and it's called, um, Healing with Crystals and Chakra Energies. And I got this one also for $7.99. Um, I don't, I'm starting to collect a lot of books on crystals because I really didn't know a lot about crystals. I mean, I knew basic stuff, but I really didn't know a bunch. And I really want to expand my knowledge on crystals because, um, they're just, um, so full of energy and you can use them just for all kinds of stuff. And so I'm really into that. And so this, um, is really nice. Um, it has like, for example... Let me hold this up. Like yellow stones, right? And then it gives you information on yellow stones, and you know, for it'll say like um, iron, uh, iron pirate, pirates, 
and amber, other yellowstone, citrine. Um, and then it'll have a section on balancing the heart. Um, and then individual growth uh, for your immune system, intuition, yada, yada, yada. Um, then they have, um, you know, just all kinds of different stuff, like how you can use it inside your home, how you can use them uh, for your health. And, and basically it breaks down like what, you know, colors represent. Um, and then, of course, the healing um, like I said, I just picked this book up today, so I really haven't had a chance to look at all of it, but just from skimming through it, it looks pretty interesting. So those are the, um, three books that I bought today, and I bought my daughter a bunch of books, um, for her, my, my six-year-old. And then I picked up these, the, um, the Vidic, um, uh, Australi Aust Astrology Deck. Ooh, um, anyway, I don't know a lot about astrology, um, you know, of course, just basic stuff about astrology, but I really would love to, um, learn more, and, um, this Vedic astrology, um, I know it deals a lot with, um, your birth charts and, um, really a lot more complicated stuff than that, I'm sure. But, um, I got these cards, um, and they were like $7, and of course I got them for 20% off. And, um, so I'm really, really interested in learning how to use these. It came with a good booklet, because, um, obviously, I need that in my life. And I think you have to have this in order to, you know, do the readings, you know, with these cards. Just like you would with any other card, if you don't know how these work. And, um, uh, these cards are like broken up, like in different, um in different packs like you know elements and modes of nature signs and houses they all say the same thing like you know all the houses cards say the same thing in the back all of the sign cards you know have the same information on the back um, these are quite confusing to me so I'm going to have a good time learning how to how to use these cards i'm really interested in learning how to uh work with these cards but i've never seen them there before and like i said they were brand new and so uh, i went ahead and picked those up and okay so that was what i got today from half price books um i was at um our um family dollar store and i went there to get something cat food or something but anyway i strolled through the um magazine aisle and um I saw this magazine, uh, and it's called Mother Earth News, Food and Garden Series. I had never seen this magazine before. Okay. At the dollar store. Anyway, um, of course in the back, you know, they have the Mountain Rose, which I love Mountain Rose. I have, um, a catalog for Mountain Rose, and if you guys don't know, I know I've said this over and over, um, on my Brujas page. Um, to check out Mountain Rose um, herbs, you know, um, they have good stuff and good prices. But anyway, this magazine is really interesting. This magazine cost me $8. And um, I was trying to find a little insert so I could like subscribe to this, but I'm just going to go to the store, bookstores and just buy these because they're, they're full of information, like lots and lots and lots of information. Um... And um, it gives you recipes on how to make certain things with herbs. And it gives you botanical re remedies for these things. Um, you know, like if you have an upset stomach, if you have headaches. Um, you know, it has a bunch of stuff in here. Like not just, um, it has stuff for inflammation. Again, and recipes in here. Not only for food, but for, you know, herbal relief, pain reliefs. Um, really, really good stuff. And, you know, I'm a photographer, so I'm all about pictures, okay? I love some good photos. And this is some good stuff in here. Anyway, it's a good magazine. Um, I've read this thing from front to back, and it's really interesting. So I'm going to be sharing some information on the Brujas page with some of this stuff in here. Some of the recipes and stuff in here, I'll be sharing that in my Brujas page. So y'all look forward to that on the uh, Facebook page. All right. Now, some of the books that I've already had um, that I wanted to show you 
was this um, practical um, pendulum book. I don't use this <clears throat> because um, I don't use a, a chart when I use my pendulum. But this book is pretty cool because it comes with charts in here that you can use with your pendulum. Um, like this is a, a chart on marriage. They have money matters, holidays, um, what stands in the way of happiness in my life. So you would just put this out and you would, you know, use your pendulum over this. Um, you know, like some people use their Ouija boards. Um, um, or, you know, they can, you can write, you know, the, the alphabet and do yes or no. However you, however you use your pendulum. But this is pretty cool because the whole book is filled with, um, with charts. Anyway, again, half price books. This is a book that I've had. And I don't know if I told you guys, but my daughter calls me, Dor my oldest daughter, Tasia. She calls me Dory the Fish from Nemo. Um, because she's real forgetful and that is me. I've had this book on my shelf for damn near two years. I looked at it the other day like, where did this come from? Crazy. Anyway, so, but yeah. But I guess because I just don't use it, but I, I might. Right. And I like this book. It is the uh, Gypsy Love Magic. I love Gypsy uh, Gypsy magic uh gypsy uh witchcraft i i think i really um am interested in gypsy magic because it's very um it reminds me a lot of hoodoo magic where it's just root work um and um you know just using you know nothing fancy you don't gotta try to do something on a certain day or a certain time it's just you know plain and simple Anyway, so um, I picked up this book. Um, this was like five dollars. I can't remember where I. Picked. I think this was also a half price books. Half price books is my um, place to go. I used to shop for books at Goodwill, and I thought those were good prices until I stumbled across half price books. Man, half price books is the best place to go for books. I'm telling you. Um, I picked up this book. It's called A Pocket Guide to Herbs. You see this? Four dollars. I got this at five below. I don't know if you guys have any stores called five below. It's like a dollar store, but obviously everything is five dollars and under. My goodness. I came out of there spending like a hundred and two dollars. But I had a whole bunch of shit, let me tell you that. Anyway, this is a really good book. Um a really good book. Like, see? Look at these colorful pages. And what I like about the illustrations is that they're actual photographs and not drawings you know because when you're working with herbs you really got to know what you're what you know what they look like if you if you're not sure and see and then of course it tells you information on mugwort it shows you a photo um and it shows you how tall i mean it, it talks to you about how tall it gets um the usage you know um all kinds of information like deadly nightshade you know it talks about that um you know the famous belladonna saint john's wart um this is a really 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 good book lots of information and this book is about um it has about i'm sorry 243 pages for four dollars it was very very good book so if you have a five below go get you one um i found this book um i think at um i think i got this at a garage sale um you know those estate sales and i know it's an older book it smells like an older book but anyway i love the way old books smell but um this is like magic and medicine of plants. And this is really good too because um, this is a, an example of what I was telling you about drawings and books. Um, and then they have some, some of them are actual photos, but a lot of them are drawings. And, you know, I like the actual photos myself, but this is really good because it breaks it down to um, on uh, different, um, different types of of uh, plants 
Okay, like for example, dill. Man, I love me some dill. Oh my god, I think I love dill so much because it smells like pickles so much, and I love pickles. And um, but look at that. I know dill don't look like that. So this is an old book, and this is really good for information, but not good for visualizing, trying to see what it is that you're doing. You can mess around and get somebody something wrong, and who knows? Okay. Another book I got from Half Price Books, and I got this for, I think, I don't know, a few bucks. Um, oh, but just for example, I, I wanted to, to say this and I forgot. This deck of cards is uh, $17.99 at Barnes & Noble, but at Half Price Books, this was only $7.99. Brand new. It was, it was still in its wrapper. I just took the wrapper off so I could show you guys. But it was uh, originally, I don't know if you can see that. Right up here, $17.99. So, guess anyway, it was $17.99, and um, half price books had it for $7.99 and then 20% off. So, you can get some really good deals there. This one I got, um, it's a witch's book of answers. Now, this book um, is by these two witches down here, um, and um, um, they are two um, Wiccans. And um, this is very, very useful uh, and helpful if you are a new witch um, or just have qu questions in general. Um, because what this does, it asks um, questions like, who is a great goddess? And then it has their answer and their opinion. And then it has, you know, which one. If it was um, which one of the witches answered it. And... Um, and that's all that this book is about. Um, it's just questions. This was a used book, so it came already highlighted. Um, and um, they had like questions here, you know, um, choosing a name, um, natural religion, paganism, um, just questions about everything. New home, you know, um, like this one, it says, having to swear on a Bible in court bothers me. Um, and so then um, Eileen just kind of wrote in here, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I tell the truth wherever I'm swearing on, if it's the Bible or, you know, whatever, whatever. So what I'm saying is that these are just questions and this is their answers. That's all this is. Their opinions, their answers. But it's pretty good because it does give you, they do give some great advice and information in here. So that's a good book. I actually bought this book when my um, when my seventeen year old daughter was um, asking questions was asking questions when she was a little bit younger. Um, I bought her this book so she could you know because it does break it down like um, for example, let me find the um, the table. Okay, so on the um, the contents it has here like chapter one. It's all about witches like in the beginning the different types of witches the beliefs. Um, chapter two is becoming a witch and it just has something like, am I a witch? Craft names, new witches, young witches, learning, practicing, initiation, teachers, the broom closet, networking, teaching. Um, chapter three, uh, a witch's life. How do witches live? Um, anger, um, home life, life stages. You know, um, it has five chapters. The fourth chapter is on a witch's skills and it talks about divination, healing, other skills, um, meditation. Chapter 5 talks about witchcraft, the basics, magic, elemental magic, spell work, ethics. You know, it does touch a little bit on everything. So, like I said, this is a really good book. Um, I got this book from Jock for Christmas. Yay! Um, I, like I said, I'm trying to build up my library on uh, crystals because I have really seen the power that crystals have. I knew they had power, but I didn't know that they had this much power. And um, a few of the witches in my uh, Brujas group um, are very good with crystals. And um, so, yeah. Yay to this. Jock um, did a good job in getting me this book. Um, this is really simple. I mean, like, when I say dumb it down, I don't mean that, like, as an insult. But this book, it, you know, when I tell somebody, like, dumb it down for me. Like, break it down to me where I can understand, you know? <laughs> But this is really good because um, if you don't know anything about crystals 
and you know trying to find out about where you can get them and all you know all the boring stuff that you don't want to know about which is all important stuff but sometimes you just want to know what what you can use for for um you know for whatever whatever you're trying to depression or whatever it is that you're trying to do but these have like crystal tips for mind body and spirit and it breaks it down you know it breaks it down and it also gives you a great illustration of the crystal itself so that way you're not trying to guess what it is um it also you know has like um you know um dealing with negativity so it talks a little bit about that and then it breaks it down here see so it has pictures of crystals and information this is a really good book jocked it really good so if you guys are trying to find a book that has basic information on crystals um, and understanding the colors, what they mean, what you can use for different things. This is a good book. And I believe you got this at Barnes & Noble. But um, <clears throat> anybody who knows me knows that I am a big um, fan of Anna Riva. I absolutely love, love, love her stuff. And, um, you know, I have a lot of her books. Um, you know, I, I got a lot of her books. And um, I ordered some books the other day. Um, I, I ordered a book from her the other day uh, from her website. And it's The Power of Psalms. I don't know why I picked up this book. Or I saw it and I got it. And because of my Dory disease, um, I can't remember why it was that I wanted this. Because um, this is something that um, is so not me. But maybe it's because I felt like I need to, you know, like I am a fan of Anne Rice. And I want to make sure that I have every single book of Anne Rice and Stephen King. Um, so I can, you know, because I love to collect books. Maybe that's why I got it. I'm not sure. But it does give you ways that you could use the Psalms to help you in your spell work. And I think that is very interesting. If you can see that. This is really interesting. I mean, very interesting. It has a lot, it, it touches on a lot of subjects. So, um, I was really pleased with that. And when I got that, I got this catalog to uh, my Jaguar books. And this catalog has a lot of her products. You know, it has a lot of her books and it has um, her, her oils and perfumes um, and uh, her candles and um they do have books in Spanish um and they show them in here um and then they have an ordering catalog um information where you can send off her stuff she has some tarot cards I mean some good stuff in here and her prices are really good she even sells parchment paper uh, yeah uh, Anna Riva has passed away and I think whoever um has taken over you know um you know has changed the title and of course I've added other stuff uh, but a lot of her books are on here. And like I said, this is a whole catalog. So, you know, anyway. So I, uh, you can get on myjaguarbooks.com. And you can see all of the books. I got this one by Anna Riva, the Voodoo Handbook. Um, so this one is just basically, again, information. This is just has a lot of information on Voodoo Handbook and Cult Secrets. Uh, black magic, serpent, worship, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. And there you go. Um, how to conduct a seance, again, by Andrea. And um, this is just basic information on how to conduct a seance. When I ordered these two books, I was not happy because look. It looks like it's like bound to construction paper. I wanted a book like this. But then I started looking at it and reading it. I'm like, well, hell, who cares, right? It could be put together by two pieces of toilet paper as long as the information is right. I know, the simple things, right? Then I got this one by Anna Reeve as well. Magic and Incense and Powders. This is a fantastic book. Um, I don't know um, of a lot of witches know, but um, I guess you guys know, but um, for new witches... Um, for new witches, uh, you can do a lot of spells just using a basic incense. Um, you know, like um, incense. Mm. Um, you know, because incense burn, you know, within, you know, 30 minutes. Um, 
and you know you can get just an incense stick now you're going to get an incense stick according to whatever it is that you're trying to do a spell on and do your petition paper or your candle i normally would use an incense stick and do my petition paper underneath the, the incense holder and boom um but yeah this is great so like um you know, it tells you like all the different names of the um, incense itself and what it um, what it is. And like, for example, basil, you know, sprinkle across the doorway of one's business to attract customers and across the threshold of one's home to entice visitors. It is believed that the only good and friendly persons will enter, you know, and it just gives you information about that particular incense. Okay. And then it gives you some spells also. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is a really good book to have. Um, and then if you're just an incense person, I mean, you don't got to use it for spells, whatever. But if you're burning stuff and you want to know what it is you're burning, hey, you know. And it goes all in alphabetical order like all of her books do. From A to Z. Boom. On what they are. And that's what I like about her books. They're just plain and simple and to the point. You know, want to know what incense and powders are used for? Right here. Um, why am I talking so loud? I'm sorry, I'm screaming. I always do that to my sister. I'm always, like, talking on the phone to her or I'm, like, talking in person. I'm always, like, screaming at her. Oh, my gosh, maybe I'm, like, you know, lost my memory and I'm going deaf. Okay, this is another one by Anna Riva. It's Golden Secrets and Mag uh, Mystical Oils. Oh, my God. You can tell how much I use my books um this is an, another book this is fantastic probably one of my favorite books of hers i use i'm an oil gal i do a lot of um i do candle magic incense magic um herbal um you know i do a lot of voodoo and hoodoo but i love my oils and i make a lot of my own oils and this is a really good um this is a really good book. I'm telling you how to use your oils, what they're used for. And it gives you some um, some information on how to, you know, do some stuff here. Um, and so let me find some. Like, for example, under D's. You know, you got um, Dove's Blood. And, you know, it, like I said, they're in alphabetical order all the way to the back, the very end, to the Zula Zula oil. You know, it tells you what it's for, and it gives you an example of a um, of a spell. Zula 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 oil is a bad oil. It's a black magic oil, which you can find that on her um, her website, Anna Riva. You can get all her oils there. Um, and then another book I have of hers is this one. This is a spellcraft, hexcraft, and witchcraft book. Look, y'all can tell I've been doing some stuff to some people because my book was falling apart. I had to like tape it up. Look, didn't even tape it up right. I use this book so much, but it really breaks it down. You know, like um, it breaks it down as far as um, you know, you you it's again alphabetical order. It tells you what you know, fourth is vinegar, what it is, you know, um what it is, how to use it, and it gives you some spells, some hexes on how to use it. Florida water, um, inks, horseshoes. Now, it doesn't go like, um, you know, like all the oils, all the um, inks, all the, it just breaks it down like alphabetical order. So you have something like inks here, and it tells you about how the, the different inks and how you can use them, and it goes right to, um, you know, Lourdes water. Magnetic sand, mole hearts, mole's tooth, uh, a mule's tooth, I'm sorry, musk powder. It's not in the same sequence. You know, how do you see horses, shoes? You know, it's a very, very good book. And it also tells you, um, gives you spells on how to stop, how to stop rumors. Um, it also tells you um, some information um, on protection bags. Uh, the Devil's Creed, Witchcraft and Covens. Um, oh, okay, we'll find this right here. So, yeah, it talks about candles, birthstones, candle burning, um, coffin, coffin nails, conjure bags, mojo bags, Devil's Creed, 
how to make voodoo dolls, doll sorcery, uh, gems, rocks and stones, graveyard dirt, uh, herbal baths, hex bags, luck, lucky days, magic mirrors, occult wash, washes, soap, seven knob candles, uh, ritual baths, uh, tools, unlucky days, wishing bags, so much information. This is a very, very good book. Very good book to have. I'm going to order another one just because I am tearing the hell out of this book. But it's a very good book. Now, I know this video is long, but I got a lot of books to show. <clears throat> another, and I'm trying to go fast. Another book that I bought, um, I had this one on my nook, and um, but I, I wanted to have it. Um, this is the Incense Oils and Brews book by Scott Cunningham. I love all of his books. Um, you can't go wrong with a Scott Cunningham book. If you go somewhere and you see a, a Scott Cunningham's book, grab it. If it's on, especially if it's on sale. Um, he's got some good stuff. Really, really good information. Um, and this is exactly what it says. Incense, oils, and brews. Um, no, you know, it, it just tells you how to, it, it also explains you how to create your own recipes for stuff. But, like, it breaks it down. If you're into making your own incense, right here. Gives you information on how to, you know, recipes on how to make your own incense. Um, it also gives you recipes um, for oils. See? So, it gives recipes on oils, um, and I mean tons of oils. Ointments, magical inks, how to, you know, how to make your own inks. Um... You know, ritual baths. Um, this is uh, and how to make brews and ritual soaps. If you're into making soaps, which I really wanted to, but I think I'm going to order some soap from Tequila, uh, the Lady Grave Dancer. Um, if you guys aren't um, a subscriber to her, y'all should get on and see the soaps that she makes. She makes some beautiful soaps, and I can't smell them, but I swear they smell damn good. I think I'm going to have to order some from her because. I love to watch Tequila, the Lady Grave Dancer. I love her videos. So informative. Um, very, very... Um, she seems like she's a very sweet person. Um, but anyway, tells you how to make soaps. Um, I, that's great to know, but for me, I'm going to order some from Tequila. Uh, shows you how to make some uh, mojo bags, powders, um, and um, lots of cool stuff. Um, and, uh, okay, so that's a must-have. Um, another book that I got, I got this for my birthday for my daughter. It's the Voodoo Doll Spell Book. Oh my gosh, this is great, because I love, um, voodoo dolls. I am, I do a lot, a lot of voodoo dolls. Um, because I'm very into voodoo and hoodoo. And let me tell you, this book breaks it down. It gives you a lot of recipes for voodoo oils, or oils that we, you know, we use in, in voodoo. And it also gives you, um, like, different chapters, like, blessings, healings, and fertility spells. Okay? So, it shows you how to, um, of course, it gives you the pattern for your poppet. Sorry, guys, we got cut off. On. So, it shows you how to make, um, you know, different um, stuff here. And it gives you lots of recipes. And, and there's tons and tons of... Um, Spells. I mean, lots of spells. And it gives you the formula for hot foot oil. This is a really, really good book. If you're into, um, if you're into, um, voodoo dolls, good book. This is another book that I got. The Hoodoo Herb and Root Magic. Oh my god. I saw, um, another witch by name. Her name is uh, Willow. Give a book review on this, and I got this. Uh, I got this from Amazon, but you can also go on Lucky Mojo. Um, I shop on Lucky Mojo, and um, they got some good stuff. Really, really good stuff there. But this book is really good. Um, what I like about this book, um, it has. Um, what I like about this book is everything. Okay, so for example, it breaks down what it is. And then how you use it in your spell work. Um, like, you know, mustard seeds, white ones, yellow ones. Um, it tells you you can use for protection, for love. And it gives you a little more detail. Black seed, uh, mustard seeds, how to use those. 
mugwort, um, peach trees, patchouli, passion flower. Lots and lots of information. Um, and then it tells you it start and it also breaks down on stuff like um, hair, pubic body, arm, pit hair, beard, hair from your head. It tells you different ways on how to um, use these things. Um, it also tells you um, how to restore your wife. I'm sorry, my head is itching. How to restore your wife's love um, to stop your partner from running around. Like there's lots of like spells in the back of it as well. And then, you know, with everything that you get, like um, snake weed, snake root, Solomon seal, you know, it gives you information. And then the very back of the book, it breaks it down like this, like um, protective roots, herbs, and minerals. So if you're trying to use something to repel evil, um, you know, um, bind someone, it tells you what stuff to use. And that goes like for, there's, it gives you a lot of examples. And then it gives you examples of what to use. So that way, you know, if you're trying to prevent theft, then you're going to um, look at, at fern or plantains. And then you go to that and you find out how to use it. And then um, it also has more books in the back that you can look up and buy. Um, and then... It comes with a lot of these cool little ads in the back. Let's see. Anyway, um, more stuff. This is a really good book, and this is a product from Lucky Mojo's. So, if you guys haven't looked at Lucky Mojo's, I would check that out. It's good, good stuff there. Okay, so I think this video is about, mm, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes long. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and then I will start the next one with a few more uh, books if you want to continue. All right, till the next video.